I think my job as a director is to imagine how these great pieces can relate to audiences now. And the world has changed so much since Bartok wrote this that, um, you know, surely there's a way that it can reach out to us and move us in a way that we haven't been moved by it before. The emotions that we discovered within it, you know, if you just listen through to it, it, it really goes from ecstatic joy right down to total emptiness. And to look at a life as the youth of your morning and then the kind of nighttime of your older years. And then suddenly we were, <laughs> we were weeping <laughs> and thinking actually, what if she's living with dementia? What if actually rather than locked doors, they were, these were locked memories or locked moments that they've shared together. And this isn't just a pain that Judith is going through. It's not just a, a fate that she's drawn towards, but also that he is. It's in a kind of inevitability. It's, a, it's an end of a lifetime. And he's just as shattered and broken as she is at the end. We're very lucky that we've done this before as a team because I think there's a great sense of love and trust among all of us. And I think that is essential to playing this because it's not a horror show about how terrible dementia is. In fact, it's a love story and it shows about how devastating love can be. It's a real kind of intense hour of really deep, deep love and affection. We're creating something completely different. So I think if you've seen it on a big scale, this is kind of almost a different opera. <laughs>